Does your member of parliament deserve the same salary as the chairperson or just any member of a constitutional commission, for instance the CIC or the IEBC? That seemed to be the feeling in parliament yesterday when the legislators, angered by their failure to get a 2 billion gratuity package, directed their venom at CIC, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission and the likes. The troublemakers who had even threatened to go to court if the MPs would have succeeded in adding themselves more money. The hostile atmosphere may have led to CIC calling off an earlier scheduled press briefing. It opted instead to send a pre-statement insisting that parliamentarians had no right to determine their own pay. The commission further chided Parliament, saying that the same House had said the remuneration of the commissioners. Funny that yesterday the same MPs did not seem to remember that. How did the salary of Charles Yachai move from 400 to 1.2 and who grows and who are involved in the negotiations? Can the minister tell us whether there is any basis for computation of gratuity for the commissioners and how much each commissioner or a chairperson and specifically the chairperson of CIC? The letter itself was not signed by the chairman, Charles Nyachai, the chief nemesis of MPs as it is, but six other commissioners had. When confronted with the manner in which the MPs were handling their fare, Speaker Kenneth Marende brushed it aside. There are actually cases in court, and uh, as a, a lawyer, uh, matters which are currently being litigated on are sub judice, and it would be prejudicial for me to discuss them. More so being the speaker and presiding officer of parliament. Can the country afford to be this extravagant in such times of austerity where you have to be taxed for such basic things as money transfers in order to fund for pay increases for teachers? For News at 8, I am Andrew Ochiang.